It's the granddaddy of them all. It's the real McCoy. It's the old form, but in some sad people's cases, it's just another Glasgow derby. Welcome back to Fog Football. We're here to predict and preview the biggest game in world football, but we are going to actually give our predictions straight away. I'm going for 3-1 to Rangers, and what are you going for? Why are we giving our predictions straight away? Because why not? Different, change up the format. <laughs> 2-1 Rangers. 2-1 Rangers, there you go. This is supposed to be a channel where impartiality runs wild. Well, guess what? When you dig past the impartialness, you just find two orange bastards. That's what you find, guys, because this is the old farm preview. Let's talk about it because Cameron Carter Fickers, he's out injured. Celtic went with a makeshift defence to Ibrox earlier on this season, but it was the mole man. It was Michael Beale. There's a rat amongst us. And he put out Rangers to fail that day, and it was a disgraceful performance, and Lager Bielka, and uh, who was the other jobber at the back? It was Liam Scales, that's the man, that's the guy. They seen Rangers off. Rangers were absolute mince, and I don't want to talk about the goal that Rangers scored and, you know, cry about it anymore, because at the end of the day, Rangers should have created more chances and should have seen that Celtic team off, but they didn't. But Carmen Carr Fickers... He is out injured um, alongside Abada and Atati coming in. So it's like a two-for-one deal for Celtic. Will Abada and Atati start this game? No. We see we've made a fair with Chris Sutton. He said a simple no to those two starting. And I think, you know, you need players with full fitness. And that's the problem with Rangers' hand with the injuries. Because Goldson, I think, will start no matter what. I think even if he's like 10% fit, big baldy Philip Clement will fire him in. Lundstrom though, I could see him, I could see Lundstrom starting too, but I think the midfield is an area of the pitch where you need to be fit and I think that's just another reason why Hitati won't start, I don't I don't think Lundstrom will start, I would actually be shocked to see Big Match John start, I think at centre back you can get away with it more, but in that engine room, that's where the, the problems lie, that's where the problems lie if you lack fitness, you can just get run ragged and I can, I can see the game going one or two ways or more, I can see Rangers, like I say, Pumping Celtic 3-1, because that would be a pump, and I think if Rangers turn up and scud at them 3-1. Or Rangers could play very shit, like we've seen them in so many first halves this season, whether it be under Clement or Beale, because yes, Clement has got the results, and he's, you know, pulled an eight-point gap back from Celtic. He's finished top of the Europa League group. There's been some dire performances in there. You know, it, it's not all sunshine and roses, with Rangers, I mean, there is injuries, I get that, but let's be real, 90 minutes against Aberdeen was disgusting at Pataudry. I mean, even the cup final was bad, but I don't care about that. You win them. I mean, as long as you win them, it doesn't really matter. Um, at home against Aris Limassol, honestly, that was just as bad as anything under Beal. Uh, McCausland saved Rangers on that day, got a point, but both teams just aren't that good, and I think that's just the reality of it. Brenda's nowhere near Ange, and with Rangers, well, Rangers haven't really played good football since since probably the Europa League run, which was under Gio, and it's not like under that time it was across all competitions. It was more just in Europe, Rangers were playing well. I mean, since Rangers, I think, have been playing great football, it's been a long time, I think, consistently in the league. I mean, yeah, last season, a few times under Beal, we scud at the Ember Clubs, Hibs and Hearts. But in terms of actual consistency, it's been a long time since Rangers have dished out great performances. And yeah, Clement's got an undefeated streak at the minute. And uh, Beal went f a great undefeated streak at the start of his run. And then, of course, James Sands went and uh, hoovered a win office at Ibrox this time last year. And uh, Celtic went up the pitch and scored. But I would like to see a bit more other than results. I want to see performances to back up. I would love to see Rangers tomorrow go and lay the smack down, but I, I mean, I'm, go, I'm back in 3-1, he's picking 2-1, which would suggest some form of decent performance for Rangers, but I don't even think Rangers need to play good to beat Celtic, and that goes vice versa, I mean, you look at the first old form of this season, no team play good, um, especially Rangers, <laughs> Celtic took their pretty much only chance, I mean, the head that ball over the top, John Suter playing Kyogo on side, and he connects with it, and that goes out to all those haters that said, Kyogo is not as good as finisher as Shankland, I mean, to be fair, right, Shank... Yeah, Shankland's great. Kyogo's a great finisher too, but I think Shankland is a better finisher than Kyogo, and that doesn't mean he's a better player, but here, all that matters is Shankland will be wearing blue very soon. But to wrap this match preview up, it's simply, I mean, it's been labelled as a must-win for both clubs. 
I'd say Celtic. I mean, who who needs to win this game more? I mean, if Rangers lose, they go eight points behind with two games in hand. You win them both, you're two points behind. If Celtic lose this game, Rangers go two points behind with two games in hand. And there, I mean, it's a massive swing. You know, I've heard Ryan one one eight say it would be an absolute disaster if Celtic didn't win this game. Yeah, I mean, yes, right. If they don't win it and therefore draw it. They are five points clear of Rangers with two games extra played. I mean, to me, that's not a disaster. It's it's not. I think a disaster is if you get beat. I think if it's a draw tomorrow, it's not a disaster for either team. Yeah, I think a draw obviously suits Rangers because then the league is in Rangers' own hands. But I mean, the league is still in Celtic's hands because you've still got two more old firms after this. Do I think whoever wins this game will win the league? No, because I think... If Celtic win this game, the league's not over. I, I mean, that's not me to suggest if Rangers win the league, it's completely over. But I think this could be a momentum swinger for Rangers, Clement, the January transfer window. And I think if Rangers win this, I think the meltdown at Celtic Park will take over. The barriers will get thrown about. It will be insane. It will be very toxic. I mean, just imagine the booze if Rangers win tomorrow at Park. Oh, I cannot wait for it. Probably, though, I'll be disappointed come 3 o'clock. But I'm going 3-1. I'm going penalties galore for Rangers. It's been 4,925 days since the last penalty at Parkhead, so why the hell not give us one tomorrow? December 30th, 2023. Bring in the New Year's with a couple of Tarrier Bells. And until next time, Fog Football, signing out.